there's still a power of friendship moment. I will tell it. Oh, yes. Oh, you haters. Just shut up and read it. But uh, I digress. I will more like calling this a uh, uh, good fight. It's just that... Uh, is it over? The conclusion of this all was kind of um, confusion. I mean, it was simple yet confusion. Com com confusing. Because... Um, you don't fully know if it is over. If it's not over this time, at least it will be over next time. Yes, I was talking about Black Clover. This is Shatter 162. And I am the Angry Me fan, the Despair Review viewer. Lufuru, the elf luck, has his halo up as he proclaims that uh, everything us is saying about friends pisses him off. So, And he begins to mock him for having no mana and uh, being so unloved. So, Lufuru uses his amazing speed again but uh, Asta actually managed to keep up with his speed N but this time it's revealed it's not only because of his great um, well you know animal like instinct he he proclaims that uh, Lufuru in Lux's body is easy to read because well uh, he is so full of rage so he always does the same thing not to mention that Asta is holding a sword that is sensitive to strong magic power and is currently cladding himself in it uh, halfly, meaning that, well, you know, he can manage to track him, at least for a little while, as Lufuru begins to uh, change uh, his uh, battle style a little bit, as he just keeps on getting more and more uh, crazy and proclaims his rage is beyond anything else. Asta begs Magnum and Vanessa to back him up, and despite being very wounded, they do that immediately. But it still, besides that, seems that Lufuru, the luck elf, is having the advantage as he knocks Asta back. As Asta's form begins to disappear, Magna covers the field with a huge explosion, creating smokes. Since Asta has no mana, he technically cannot be tracked using mana tracking. However, Lufuru does something else. He spreads out his mana and uh, as soon as Asta is using his, uh, mag his erasing uh, magic sword, he will sense him that he is there. So with that, when he senses him, he, he gloats as he proclaims his rage is stronger. However, the hypocrite has something wrong. He proclaims that humans has no bonds, and yes, and yet, and yet this was probably one of the best combination of bonds ever. I mean, the elves may have done combo magic, but that's hardly anything I would consider just bonds. This is pure and simple teamwork. As Vanessa pulls a sword, uh, uh, no, not a sword, a thread on Asta's. Uh, uh, leg, stopping him from being hit by Lufuru's attack, as Magna immediately threw a fire baseball at the thread, burning it off so that uh, Asta immediately can attack, and so he does, as he man finally managed to land a hit on Lufuru, knocking him to the ground, and that's actually where the chapter ends. So yeah, I mean, um, it was just a fight chapter with Lufuru, the Luck Elf, being completely consumed with rage more and more and more. It's just the ending is a little bit more confusing. Asta is currently wielding the sword that apparently could dispel Elf reincarnation possession. But the way he hit a luck here suggests that he has not yet disconnected the reincarnation. In fact, even the chapter itself says... The power of their bonds will reach their friend. I mean, um, basically that uh, meant to see that it was thanks to their bonds that they actually managed to land a hit on the possessed luck. I still just wished more that uh, they will reach luck beneath that. However, Elf Luck Lufuru, or whatever his name is, clearly went on the sanity spree here, but he has yet to fall in completely into demon depravity. Although, technically, he went insane here, so... It's as close as there is. It's also once again showing something. The elves' rage are justified, at least for now. It's understandable why they hate humans so much. But there's still something in this puzzle that does not make sense. And in a way, it's the fact that they, they hate humans. Yes, I know, but they also seem to look down a lot on people they proclaim are unloved by mana. 
So Petrolilich all talk about them being enlightened and, you know, loving everything is for me just a complete and utter lie. They love mana, nothing else. And they hate people that have no mana because for them it's a pathetic sight that no one is loved by mana. Although it's not yet explained why Asta is unloved by mana. The only hint is because he has that demon inside of him. Therefore he is anti-magic. Maybe it's more not the fact that he's uh, hated by mana. It's just that all mana that comes to him turns into anti-magic because of the demon. But uh, that is not exactly known. After all, it's proclaimed he has no set of mana at all inside of him. So all the anti-mana comes from the sword that only he is able to wield. So yeah, just a fighting chapter. Nothing else. Not Nothing really that difficult. It was awesome. Awesome fighting moments. But the fight is not over yet, I think. Next week probably will happen. Uh, Lufuru, el the Luf Luck Elf's armor is being dispelled. It's worth noting that he has horns when he's using his lightning armor. And the chapter is beginning it basically said something about facing the demon. So in that way I will ask who is the demon? Asta wielding the anti-magic or Lufuru wielding uh, very strong magic being totally insane and having horns. You give me your thoughts if you have any.